What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Philly D's Garage. So today we got the Honda Accord in the building. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna rotate the tires, show y'all how to rotate tires. Um, I do need tires, but I'm gonna rotate them, get a little bit more life out of the back tires because they got some more meat on them than the front. But that's how we're gonna do that. Now, the way I'm going to rotate my tires is I'm going to just go from the back to the front, front to back. Um, when I first started working on cars in 2014, 2015, some guys were telling me, you know, you want to take this tire from this corner, put it to that corner, then this corner, put it to that corner, like an X. But... I don't know. I, I guess it really doesn't matter which way you do it. I guess it's your preference. But the whole object is to rotate your front wheels to the back and rotate your back wheels to the front. That's the whole object of that. Um, and the reason why you want to do it is so you can prolong the life of your tires, your tread, and all that good stuff. You want to rotate them so they can get an equal amount of time of being worn out. Cause your front tires is going to naturally worn out uh naturally worn out uh wear out faster than a back because your front tires are you know you turn in and all that shit so the front is naturally going to wear out quicker than the than the back so that's why you want to rotate them like every oil change preferably that's what i would do like every oil change you want to rotate your tires um honestly i haven't been doing that to none of my cars but uh i do it when I remember too, and when it comes to my mind. So we're gonna get right into it. First thing we're gonna do is lift the car up. Um, I'm gonna lift the front and the back up so it'll be up at one time and I can just rotate the tires without, you know, trying to let the car down this side of the car down that. So I'm gonna lift the car up. If you got a lift, it's much easier because your car is on the lift, but I'm in my own garage. So I gotta use jack stands and stuff. So let me get it set up on jack stands then we're gonna go from there all right y'all so as you can see i got the jack stands under the car now i got jack stands on both sides so took the uh, jack out so right now the car is supported by the jack stands not by the jack itself you don't really want to leave no weight especially heavy weight like this sitting on the jack is then you know who knows it could give out so right now uh the car is sitting on the jack stand so now next thing we got to do is the one part that i hate doing at work a lot you got to get the wheel lock because this car has a wheel lock on it so you got to get the wheel lock to get the wheels off but i hate going into customers cars looking for their wheel locks i just hate going through this shit I didn't been in some cars, man. Look like some people that lived in them. So, if, if you can imagine going through somebody's personal stuff, you know they, they could have bed bugs, whatever. Who knows? Um, it don't look like we got a lock in here, guys. See, yeah. it's my own car, and I still can't find a wheel lock. So if it ain't in there, it has to be in the trunk. Man, I haven't been in some, uh, I don't even remember where the damn, where the button's at. There we go. So, I haven't been in some cars, man. They got so much shit inside their trunk, man. Can't find shit. All right, so we got the lock. Let's open it up. Damn, got the lock. So every time I get a lock from a customer's car, even though I might go and get it and find it, you know, out their car and use it, I always hand it back to them at the end of the job because I don't want them to say, oh no, you didn't give my wheel lock back. You know, always give them their locks back. Now, usually that's when I remember because I'm guilty for putting customers' uh, wheel locks in my, in my pocket or my toolbox. I simply just forget it. I just simply forget that I had it. I put it up with the rest of the tools that I'm using 
throw it inside my box or something like that. And customer come back, oh yeah, D, yeah, you got my lock. I'm like, oh shit, I got it. But um, yeah, so remember to get the customers back their locks. So we're gonna use my stubby, Milwaukee stubby and a 19 millimeter socket. So we're gonna get right to it. All I'm gonna do is just take this roll off, swing it to the back, take that roll off, swing it to the front. Now I'm not gonna show y'all this side because it's tight over here. I don't really have that much space. So I don't really wanna bore y'all with watching me scrunch y'all up in here. So I'm just gonna do it real quick. Show y'all how to rotate your wheel so y'all know how to do it on your own and you ain't gotta take it to the shop and have them do it for 10, 20 dollars, whatever they want to charge you. So we just gonna do it real quick. Get y'all set up here. Y'all can see the Milwaukee stubby M12 half inch at work. Well, you don't want to take the wheel lock off first. So well, let me get y'all some light. I swear I never got light. I mean, I got light, but which I just a little bit light. I ain't gonna bore y'all too long with this. Some people don't know how to rotate their tires. All right, so there you go. First thing you wanna do is take off the all the lug nuts first, and then take off the securely lock because when you do that. You take off all the lug nuts first, that'll relieve a lot of pressure um, on the lock itself. And then this will come off easier. So you end up you don't end up stripping your security lock out or breaking the teeth off that's in here. I don't know if y'all can see the teeth that's inside of here. See that? But they can break off. So you want to be careful with that because then you'll be fishing for a new wheel lock. So let's rip off these, these first. All right. Get in there. All right, so we're going to be working. All right, so now you took those off. Now you can get your, your uh, roll lock off. Make sure it's in there before you start spinning it. Got them off. We still got four bars on the Milwaukee. These lights is cool, man. They, these lights really bright up the, when it's dark, this thing really works in the dark. So. We got that wheel loose. Come back here. Oh no. We're gonna leave these up here. I'll leave these up here. I totally did that backwards. Here we go. Look. Knock the bull off. Now we got the bull off. We can check the bricks while we're here. Might as well, right? Bring y'all in here. And y'all can uh, check the bricks while you're here. So you see the brakes. Brakes is more than more than half. You're doing good. And I did these brakes probably, I don't know. I don't know. Probably at least two or three years back. So we're doing pretty good on the braking part. All right, so we're gonna come in the back. We're gonna rip this roll off. Take it off with that real quick. Hey, hey, where'd you go? I'm right here. All right, get that in there. Make sure y'all can see y'all in this jaw. All right, so we're going to rip this one off. All right, get your lock off. All 
All right, you want to knock roll off. Get that off the same way you did the front. I'll take this wheel up to the front. Move this other wheel to the back. We're gonna get it ready, but before we put it on, we're gonna check the brakes. Now we're checking the the back brakes. So they got some brake in there. Less than half, but um. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I've ever did the back brakes in this car. I think I did the front. Huh. Got me pondering. Uh really can tell you. Really don't remember. So, alright, so let's just put this one on real quick. I'm gonna stack the brakes. The shocks look good. Check everything while you can while the wheel is off. juice. I was trying to put on New Jersey Drive, but for some reason, they won't let me watch New Jersey, New Jersey Drive on Amazon, Netflix, YouTube, nothing. Now, I think this is, this is Pluto or some shit. They maybe download that just to watch juice for free. Now, Make sure you got some lug nuts on there. Screw it on first before you go on uh, incredible hawking shit. And make sure your wheel is all the way sitting, uh, sitting flat. And run it down a little bit. I'm not twerking nothing down. I'm just gonna use this gun. I'm gonna go real, real soft on this lock. That's it. It's locked. All right, that's about 90 to 100 foot pounds right there, y'all. Perfect. Let's go back down here real quick. All right, we're gonna put on the front wheel. Real quick. And this is real simple, y'all. This is how you do a tire rotation. It's not hard. You just gonna put your. Simple. Simple. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just y'all not gonna see that side because there's no there's no reason to see the other side. Same thing. Alright, so we're gonna use our Milwaukee with the full point up amp battery. Alright, 
I'm not using the torque wrench. So, um, uh, just going by feel. Just go by feel. You get it. It's not, you know, not rocket science. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to go over to the other side and do the same exact thing on the other side, guys. Really not hard. That's exactly how you do a rotation on any car, okay? Unless you got like a dually with, you know, four wheels in the back and two wheels up. That's different. It's a whole different setup. But with a car and your average truck, you do it just like this. You rotate it from front to back, back to front. Same thing on the other side. Um, and that's it. That's supposed to guarantee you or should guarantee you um, thousands of miles, depending on how you drive. You know, I, I had these wheels, these tires on this car since I bought the car. And I want to say that was 20, 2016, 2017, I believe. So it's been some years that these tires have been on this car. And they still going because I'm about to get another, I don't know, a few more thousand miles out of these back tires. I'm putting them up front. So, um, and while we at it, I can show you guys how to check your tires. Some people might be saying, well, how do you how do you check your tire? Well, for one, you can see this tire is is, is cracking. Okay, that's uh basically the rubber itself is deteriorating. You see that? That's one sign that you need a tire. Uh, now this is the back tire. Remember, I just rotated it so it had a little bit more tread than the front. But this this is no good. This 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 uh deterioration right here is no good. Um, let's go to the back tire though, since it's a little. And you can see the tread back here. It's real. It's like real flat. Okay, it's bald almost. You got some tread in here though. That's some good tread in here, but on the edge, that could be a sign of your struts going bad, your alignment, you know, maybe it depends on which type of road that you're driving on, what type of streets you're driving on. This can, all those type of variations can determine why your tires are going bad or wearing out. Also, um, the way you can tell when your tire is bad, hold on. Let me show y'all something real quick. I usually tell this to all my customers when they, when they come into a shop, especially my older shops where I had some type of, um, you know, authority where I could where I could talk to my customers all day long. Corporation shops, you really won't do that because you, you got service riders that'll do that. So, but here's the deal. Y'all see this little bar right here? See when your when your tire tread gets low enough, it will it will even out with this bar here. So that's going to even out with this bar. That's your wear bar. So I can see I got a little bit more tread up there. So I could get my tire gauge and gauges for y'all, but that's a little too much. This is some shit where y'all could just walk outside and do yourself. Most y'all ain't got no tire gauges. You come come outside, look at your indicator bar right here. See if it's even with the tread. You know what I mean? Check for deterioration on your anywhere on your tire, not just the edge, anywhere. You know what I mean? You know. Also, while I'm here, your, your car got dates on them too. Your tires have dates on them. I think I've told y'all this in my older videos, but the tires got dates. So if you ever want to go buy a tire, a used tire, new tire, you can check the date. And that can that may determine the price of your tire. You know, you let them know, yo, this tire is two years old. They get a discount. Here's the date on this tire. So look, remember I told you I bought this car, seventeen eighteen. Well, here's the date right here. See that? That's the twenty third week of twenty eighteen. Right there. That's the date. That's the. This is the DOT number. All right. This is the. The Department of Transportation. That's the day number. That's the part number. And that's the date right there. Every tire has a date on it. Some tires got them in letters though. But see this this tire got it in a date. So this tire is four, five, six years old. It's pretty fucking old. It's 2018 tire. You know what I mean? 
the tire needs to be replaced just just because of the age period that's why i got dry cracking on it and shit like that so um hopefully that helped you guys out hopefully i uh taught you guys something about the tires and how to check them and how to rotate them uh just a quick little video you know nothing too much i had to change i had to rotate my tires so i figured i'd show you guys you know i gotta rotate other tires but i ain't gonna make a video over and over about how to rotate tires but this is one so i'm gonna do the other two on the other side get it over done with this job probably gonna take you like 20 minutes assuming that you're not you know making a video um but yeah y'all if you like the video hit the like button share the video hit the subscribe button hit the ring bell so you get all my notifications so you know when philly d is showing the video but um other than that that's how you rotate tires 9th gen honda accord and most other cars so check you on the next one